What is up, tubers? This is Superdale. Today, I got another video for you. Today, I will be doing a somewhat unboxing of the Z20 Pro. Um, I'm going to give you my take on it. And if it's worth updating or upgrading from the Z10 Pro to the Z20 Pro. So, right out the box, uh, if you're familiar with that device, very, very nice device. And the whole thing is, should you upgrade? You know, to me, it's all about personal preference, but it'll be up to you. Of course, you get a couple of manuals, as you see right here, right? And you get this, you know, remote control. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but, right? Showing you how to set it up. So you get a couple of those. You get this IR remote, as you see somewhat okay somewhat but it's really up to you got the directionals everything on there to get you started um of course you get an hdmi plug or cord also you get this right i'm gonna leave the the link to where you can order this box because it is coming from the uk and they also give you an adapter to go with it but it's clunky for the u.s um, if you do have a Zadu device, you can always use that as well. You can just take the cord and plug this in right here. Now, here it is right here. This is the Z10 Pro. All right, the Z20 Pro. Sorry about that. This device is 4 gigs of RAM and is running Android 11. All right, it's running Android 11 and you know some things are quite a little different from you know what we've been using in the past so on this side right here you don't get anything when we go to the back all right you see it right here let's start let's start from over here you get the dedicated on off you got the power you got the rcas all right you got the optical and then you got the hdmi 2.1 then you got a USB 3. Point, you know, 1 or 3.0, 3.1, one of them. Then you got the gigabyte Ethernet. All right. Let's go from this side right here. You got a dedicated uh, um, tray for a 3.5 drive internally. As you see, I already have my drive in there um, and it's ready to go, ready to go. All right. So that's pretty good. Of course, you got some audio right here and this little reset that's right there all right in the front of course you got the nice little big large feed right here all right right here as you see the camera keep trying to zoom up and then you got a couple of usb 2.0s right here so if you're familiar with this device you already know hold up stop all right so you already know that uh, you know it's missing a few things from its predecessor all right so you as you see right here you got both of these this is the z10 pro of course the darker box is the z20 so it's some differences on here when we turn them around all right so you can see exactly what's going on for people who want to know uh you are mixing on the new box you're missing the hdmi input where you can plug any hdmi um source up to this box all right so you are missing that and not only that you're missing a uh, extra um 3.0 um cord not i mean a, i mean a usb um port sorry about that usb port all right so what we're going to do right now we're going to get this bad boy plugged in and set this bad boy up and then um we can we can get this party started so stay tuned we'll get it in and then we're gonna go on over to the television and again it got its pros and cons so we we'll try it and go from there all right let's do it okay guys i am back it is 9 20 in the evening as you see right there but looking at the z20 um pro from zadu everything looks the same everything looks the same guys so as you going down 
Um, this is no different from the predecessor um, Z10 Pro. Everything is pretty much the same. Now, again, I had this device already set up because I had to make sure it worked. Now, when you again, when you set yours up, you will not have the Google Play Store. All right. So yours will be basic with probably about a good total of about seven or eight applications. Nothing major, no Netflix, no Hulu, nothing like that. This is it right here. So starting off, I do have my on Wi-Fi right now, and we're going to do an internet test, a speed test shortly. But out the box, when I connected it to my network, uh, it found the time came up, and all I had to do is go and search for Detroit, and everything came up. Again, you got the apps, you got the media center. So this is your internal storage and everything that you have connected as far as storage, an external drive or an internal drive, a 3.5 hard drive, this will be in there. Of course, you got home theater, which is, this is by far the best as far as feeding this bad boy. You don't have to do the work. It does the work for you. But then they give you a little browser, some quick settings, clean up, app locks, and all of that. So let's get into it again. This is straightforward. When you connect it to your network, your time will come up. And then you can just go into your weather right here and actually select your city. Now, again, this is where you will see all of your applications. And again, guys, I added App Toy, I added Browser, um, I added Google Play, I added File Manager internet speed test i added these all right netflix we'll talk about that later uh you know to be in here so again you're not going to get i am player analyty and explore app or xcipd you will not get that so don't be up in there like hey dale i don't have that all right so whatever you hook up to this device as far as storage all right will be over here so i already have my storage my 3.5 internal drive hooked up and you see it right here it usually says i know even if i click in there i can go up in here and actually see my content as you see right here and i can go from there all right but again that's pretty much with the storage all right um let's go into quick settings right quick all right now, quick settings, this is the playback settings, right? Quick, right? This is it right here. And you can go down here and make some customization to your device, guys. Again, if you're familiar with the do, this is pretty, pretty, you know, kind of the norm that we know over here. But if you're thinking about it, this is where you're getting to and you will do some more customized, some customizing uh, to what you like. Um, one of the features I do like is this digital signage mode. So if you have a place of business and you got a few monitors, yes, you can actually display your logo and have it going through showing different pictures and videos. Um, that is pretty good. All right. And then you, of course, subtitles and all of that. Let's get into display. All right. So you can do your resolution. Um, your color setting, HDR to SDR, HDR right here, Dolby Vision. So you get all of this. Shoot, you even can make this your screen on your television. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. All right. And that's what she told J Mac, but it's all good. Um, you got screen ratio, picture perimeter, screen saver, and then you can just change the wallpaper. So look at the wallpaper right now that's in the background. And you're going to see me make this change, and it's going to change in the background. All right. As you see right there, if I want wallpaper three, you will see it change right there in the background, just like that. So it's something very, very easy, and you can set it, and it's all good. You can blur it. You can mask it. You can do a lot of things. I say you can customize this bad boy, right? And so there you have it. Let's go up to audio. All right, audio, again, you can go in here and put your settings on and you can just go through it. Whatever you have, whether you have a regular stereo speaker from back in the day, or maybe you got a sound bar and you just want to make everything as nice, you can go up in here. Even USB audio, you can go up in here and do some things, all right? Network, of course, I'm on Wi-Fi. 
You got Ethernet as well, so I'm going to do an Internet test on both of these. Of course, you can set up Bluetooth, guys. And here is the champ right here, Samba Server. Because once you turn on Samba Server, of course, you can give yourself a username and password. But Samba Server, if you turn on Samba Server and say you got a couple of Amazon Fire Sticks that are in other locations of your home, then all you need is the Nova video player on those fire sticks and you can direct it to connect to this box and you can watch movies, TV shows that you have set up on this box onto them devices. It's very, very nice, guys. That's why you got to come over to the live shows on Mondays and Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Others right here this is very very nice again just turning on things you want to control your device as much as you can um a lot of these features you might not even mess with but they give you the option you can check for updates you can check for recovery and reset so you can factory reset this bad boy and give it away or send it back however you want but now in about right here let's go and click about let's move over it give you some information right here and then when we go into advanced settings look at this if you had the z10 pro you know it did not look like this so this device again is running android 11 so the settings are a little bit different now again when you go over here you can go to device preference and go into about all right and again this is to turn on developers option so when you go into about you can just scroll all the way down to android tv os build that's highlighted right there and you can hit that bad boy seven to eight times and it will tell you that you're a developer and now to make this box snappier you can now go back and go into developers options and you can go down here and make some changes you can do this with the ztm pro and all the remaining other boxes from to do as well but here it is if you want your box to be a little bit snappier you can change it from 1 to 0.5 on each of these right here windows transition animator so you can go either just change them or you can just cut them off you click on it you can just cut them off as well it's up to you but i would say definitely do 0.5 but again it's up to you as personal preference on this channel all right after you do that you can go back you can location you can you can check dates and time languages all of this information right here you can even can check your storage so if i go into storage right and i go to click i got 26 gigabytes remaining because this device the internal storage is what 32 gigs all right so again i only use right now I only got 1.7 gigs on here which is fine and again i got a six terabyte internal drive that's connected to this bad boy all right so it's pretty smooth that you can go on here and you can eject it um you can erase it and format it as a device again very 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 nice this is very important when you first get an internal SATA drive and you insert it there if you if it don't recognize it then you can always format it on your pc as well so it's it's a lot of things going on of course it tells you your network video all of this guys also you can connect bluetooth so it can as you see right there it'll find bluetooth that's on my network all right so again this remote control is 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 it's an ir it's not the best it's not backlit so don't you know it, it, it's not all of that great right because they want you to get that other remote control that i will show on my live on mondays and fridays 7 p.m eastern standard time now let's get to the party before we get up to home theater let's go over here and do an internet speed test again i am on wi-fi right now and it shows pretty pretty well i'm going to hit the button and start the test and you will see that it will proceed with scanning my network and you will see my download and my upload speeds and again thank you for watching this man
I love to do boxes. They're not the best. They're not the worst. But for what it's capable of doing, I love it. And again, it helps you start your own movie server, your own movie collection, everything. So as you see right there, um, 501 um, on the download. And you see I got 60 point, what's that, 49 on the upload. So which is very, very solid. So right now, as you hear me, I'm going to click and connect the ethernet cord and give it a little bit right i'm gonna go to my home button i'm gonna go over here to the settings and i'm gonna go over here to network and just so i don't have no interferences i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the wi-fi and i see that i'm already connected i'm gonna hit the home button and i'm gonna go back down here to internet speed test you can use analyti as well it doesn't matter but as you see right here, start test, I'm gonna click the okay. And we're gonna go through it again. And this is hardwired. I got my Cat6 wire that's connected to my router that's, you know, plugged directly into this box. And as you see, I'm getting a little bit of better download speed because it's hardwired. For my streaming purposes, I just suggest that you go hardwired, all right? But again, it's your choice, personal preference. I'm not going to get mad at you if you don't. But as you see, the upload is pretty much the same. But you see, I got better speeds on the download, 808. All right. So let's go ahead and hit the home button. There's so much I can talk about. Again, I would do a dedicated video on how you can put the Google Play um, app on this device because it doesn't come with the Google Play. All right, but here go home theater. I got that icon down here and I also have it right here. So when you go into home theater, again, the reason for this box is so you can set up your own movie collection. All right, it doesn't, man, listen, it looks beautiful. All right, again, you can customize this if you want, but look at all of these films right here. And so if I wanted to go and let's just say Beast, right? You see over in the right hand corner of Beast, it will let you know if it's 4K, it'll let you know if it's high definition, uh, uh, you know, 720, it will give you all of that, 720, 1080p. But one thing I do like about this device, when you click in here, guys, look, it will up in within 10 to 15 seconds, up in the right hand corner, it will start the, tra the um, trailer of this film but if you go down you get a synopsis and you see i can go 1080p or i can go 4k and you see it right there it automatically start and things like that you can look at it and see exactly what is what um i'm gonna get off of there because i don't want no copyrights and again look black adam again give it like 10 to, to 15 seconds and the trailer will start and again, you see I got a 4K and I got a uh, um, 1080p, which is very, very nice. And there you have it. You see it right there. That's the beauty of this device. All you got to do is either rip your movies, however you get your content, and you just put it on here. The Zadu will take care of it. Unlike Plex, you got to create categories. Well, on here, dealing with Home Theater 4.0, you know you do not have to create categories. It does everything on its own. You can create one folder on your drive, on your storage, right? Whether it's internal storage or external. And you can make one folder called movies. And the Zadu would take care of everything else, all right? So it tells you all the animation that I have on this bad boy, right? Uh, if I go into action, It'll give me all of my action films, as you see right here. All of my action films, all right? Uh, let me go back, and I got a host of them, you know? They give you, they categorize everything for you, all right? Everything is there, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Westerns, anything Western, look at that. This is the beauty of Zadu. That's why it costs so much because it does everything for you, 
But again, I'm not mad at you as you if you go with the free version of Plex as well. All right. But other than that, you got a bunch of sources and this is all you have to do. You just go up to the top. You can go into settings or you can go into this hard drive right here icon. And what you're going to do, add a source. Now, of course, you can add an internal storage, which is these two right here. Or if you got a NAS, guys, you can select your NAS and it will scan your network looking for your NAS. All right. And whatever you choose, um, you just know it, it, if it's open, you can go right into it. But if it have a username and password, you would get this right here. But once you put that username and password in, the rest is history, guys. I'm telling you, it is very very nice to have this device right here now let me show you another thing um before we get up out of here um it does have a very very nice uh music player as well so i'm gonna connect my flash drive up to it another source right i'm gonna connect and as you see it right there i just connected the flash drive up and i'm going to go to the music player 7.0 all right so right here, once I hook my drive up with some music, as you see right here, I got a couple of uh, like three different uh, albums on here. And if you select it, of course, it lets me know I got two of them from Drake. And again, if I wanted to listen to it, I can go down here and it plays very, very nice, very, very clean. That's, I'm telling you, and all you have to do is just go down there and hit the play button and get it going now depending on what's in front of you you know whatever you have so let, i'm gonna just do this one it does have a little bit of karaoke on here i will show you that right now so if i go to luther vandross a house is not a home right when i click on it you see it gives me some little bit of uh uh a karaoke now it's not perfect guys it's not perfect but it will get the job done. I'm gonna just try to fast forward it. So at, there you go, you see it right there. All right, but it's not perfect. But again, if you know the song, you can just put it on your big TV and you can have some fun with family and friends. But it's pretty, pretty solid. And again, this is the music player. You can save it. You can do the same thing on music player that you can do with home theater. But again, guys, now, after doing my testing on here, pretty much everything worked. If you're going to look at Plex, if you're going to hook Plex up to this device, again, I'm not going to put my code in or anything like that because it's protected. Um, if you got some 4K content, I would say definitely hardwire your box. Take that Cat 5, 6, 7 and hook it up to a network switch or hook it up to your router. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference, all right? Netflix... I didn't have a good moment with Netflix. Um, it, even when I click in here, even with the remote control, even with my keyboard, which I can um, put on here as well, I can connect that right now. Even with my keyboard, as you see, it will not let me select. You know, you got to really hit this bad boy and look at this, and you cannot do anything else with this all right it's terrible but i understand because if i was you i would not get us a do to watch netflix all right you don't need it it's really the whole thing about this device is to get your own media library going all right that's the whole thing if you're not trying to build your library i wouldn't su i wouldn't suggest this box so guys I, I listen if you ask me do you should you upgrade from a z9x or a z10 pro should you upgrade really that's personal preference if four gigabytes of ram you know you know make you happy then go for it, it other than that you know i think you will be good at the z10 pro and with them taking away uh uh, a USB 3.0 and taking away the HDMI input. So now we can't even connect the flash. I mean, we can't connect the Amazon Fire Stick up to this. 
we can't connect a DVD player up to it, you lose that option. And you lose the recording feature, all right? Because you notice there is no recording icon that says HDMI in that allows you to record on this bad boy, all right? That's the only thing about it. Do you need to upgrade? Uh, probably not, but if, if you want to, go ahead. But I just think its predecessors, the Z9X, the Z9S, the um, Z1000 Pro, uh, the Z10 Pro, I think all of those devices, you can still go through and do your thing, all right? That's just my opinion. But at the end of the day, you're the one spending your, your hard-earned money, and that comes down to you. Other than that, guys, I just believe, you know, it, it is snappier than all the rest of those other boxes because of the extra RAM. But it, 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 if an extra couple of seconds or five to ten seconds, you know, make a difference, then, yeah, go for it. Other than that, I don't think you need to upgrade, but that's just my opinion. At the end of the day, it's up to you. Please leave the comments. Leave your comments down below i will get to it um also i will let you know where you can buy this box at all right right now the only place you can get it is from a website called fateco i ordered it and guys literally um it was shipped from the uk at least that's what they tell us and it got to my house within three business days so if you order it on monday I mean, if you order it Sunday, because it's over in the UK, Sunday, like morning or something like that, you will have this device by Wednesday. That's how fast. You might even get it by Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, it should be at your home. So, guys, again, thumbs up this video. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. And um, thumbs up the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, you know, I will answer them to the best of my ability. Also, come to my lives mondays and fridays 7 p.m eastern standard time um if you're not subscribed subscribe 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 and then click that bell and then um select all that way you get notified of everything all right guys this was a long long video <laughs> i'm a little bit tired but again four gigs of ram 32 gigs of internal storage and pretty much the same device you lose a, a usb 3.0 also you lose the hdmi input that might that might have messed things up all right so please i would love to hear from you i will talk to you later guys salute be safe and um we'll go from there guys i'm out peace